Hey everyone, this is Chris Keys for PremierGuitar.com. We're doing another rig rundown, this time with Thin Lizzy. Well, we got my friend here, Cody. Cody, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Cody handles pretty much everyone that handles an instrument in the band, except Scott. So Cody, tell me about who we got right here. Whose guitars are we looking at? All, uh, Viv's guitars here, which is basically good old trusty, dependable Les Pauls. What's this one's name? This one's Sparkle. This is basically Viv's number one guitar. And you were telling me earlier about a special, uh, or not a special, but actually a tragic story behind it. Tell me about that. Yeah, I believe it was uh, run over by a vehicle on the uh, runway at an airport once upon a time, and it has now been uh, lovingly restored, and it's actually two, two different uh, Les Pauls there. But yes, this is number one. Viv would uh, play this for 90% of the show, Swiss, switching between this one, basically, and this little brother here, Bessie. So that's pretty much what we're in between those two with Damasios. And these are the guitars you would also use with Def Leppard also, yeah, right? Def Leppard, yeah. Basically, uh, these plus he's got a selection of uh, acoustic guitars and that we'll have out on the road and I'm sure a whole load more uh, Les Pauls as well. And what's another, what is another guitar that he uses, you know, to, uh, throughout the set? Uh, he uses this which is a Yamaha SG, we've just got a hold of this, with the P90s in, which we'll use for uh, the likes of uh, Still In Love With You and Whiskey In A Jar. And he's also got a, a Les Paul Gold Top with the P90s in, which is also uses for that, for those purposes and those two songs. What have you learned that he likes to use and kind of go towards when he uh, wants you to set up his guitars? Do you know what? Basically, the action's like reasonably low, and uh, he's using uh, hybrid sets on the um, Dimasios we're using 13s through to which I'll show you they're here somewhere Let me pull them out of the thing 13 through to 52 Dunlop built for Vivian Campbell which is 13 16 20 32 40 and a 52 and he uses those on the Les Pauls you said yeah on the Les Pauls with the Dimasios and then we use uh, the set of 12s with the P90s you know, did he ever tell you why he uh, prefers the differences between the strings and those uh, with the pickups? No, no, no. That was just the what he, you know, when we were speaking before we came uh, came to get together on this. And also, when I dig it out in here, because we're seriously low on them, <laughs> is Viv's metal picks. He uses a metal pick. Why does he prefer the metal versus, you know, uh, you know Tortex? Yeah, he, he just, that's what he likes to use, yeah. And uh, to be quite honest, they don't wear away. <laughs> and they last, they know. That's what this is what he's using. We've got a few uh, other just regular, regular picks here, which we give away to the fans because you can't go buzzing these out to the crowd every night. Obviously, yeah, uh, somebody will. Yeah, exactly. The pedal board's pretty small, but what's he using there? Uh, he's just basically going into a, a wah. He's got an angry troll um, pedal, which is just an extra little bit of a boost, and then we've just got a switch which is uh, powers the uh, echoplex full tone echoplex on and off. That's it, straight into basically a Mojave uh, Scorpion 50 watt head into a Mo Mojave uh, 4x12 cabinet and then lines out of the Mojave into a crate power block which is effectively the wet side of the, the signal into the uh, Echoplex which then goes into a 212 Marshall cabinet. Not too much, you know, going on with the tone. It's pretty minimal with the pedals and the amp set up. It's just, it's just his fingers. Potatoes, but it's, it's great tone. I mean, it, it really is bitching. And so, what did you learn from, you know, being around these guys like Scott and Vivian, as two big guitar giants that they are? That they're absolute sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean they're great. I mean they've got lots of tone, you know, and they, they shredders and they're the way love, you know, just meat and potato guys basically. Straight, you know, decent heads, guitars. Um, and the way, the way they go. No wirelesses, leads straight into the pedal boards. Cody has taken over for the tech who is MIA, who is usually doing Scott stuff. So, uh, Cody, what do we got in your hands right here? Yeah, this is uh, Mr. Gorham's number one guitar. He plays this all the way through the show. This is the, uh, I believe it's the Gibson Access. But, uh, he likes this. It's like uh, nice and light, thin. It's got the Floyd Rose going on. Whatever. And this basically is his baby for like the entire set. Should, should there be any problems or he needs to call upon another guitar, we have this baby sat up here in reserve, which I, until uh, this came along, I believe was uh, number one. And now it's been uh, dropped back to number two to fill in should there be any problems. But 
good old trusty reliable Gibson here never lets the show down so not to put you in the spot because like we said this isn't your normal gig doing Scott stuff but what were those single coils in that strat fender lace sensors oh, all right. yep the access looks like on the side there as you look at the profile it looks like it's it's a Les Paul on a diet it, it, yeah it's definitely slim <laughs> yeah they wouldn't look very good on me but uh, a bit too slim and small for somebody like me but uh, yeah that's a you know it is there's a lot of a lot of the weight gone, what you would normally be in a Les Paul guitar, you know, doing a long show, standing there for two hours, yeah. it takes its toll after a while. So, you know, this is nice, you know, he has no grumbles with this, he, and he, he loves this. I do believe it's just had a headstock job, but uh, it's just something that just sprung to mind in the last 10 days. As a guy that hears it every night, what do you think, uh, is there anything compensated or missing with a thinner body? You know, sometimes people say with a, you gotta have a thick mahogany body with the Les Paul to get that true thick crunchy tone, creamy distortion with no, the little humbuckers. No, I mean, um, he's, going, he's going through the uh, angles over here and, uh, you know, I, I don't hear any grumbles from front of house or anything like that regarding, you know, having to thicken it out or anything like that. So, you know, I, I presume it's uh, pretty much a happy camp. So we got the amps over here. What's Scott using? Uh, he's basically using the Richie Blackmore uh, signature 100s, basically dry and a, and a, a wet signal. Yeah, uh, this is a, a different one that got sent out of us to have a try, which he's actually going to try out at tonight's gig. But pretty much this is the, the Richie Blackmore uh, Signature 100 is the one that he would use for both the dry and the wet. What are we looking at down here? Well, this is uh, the uh, crunch and the gain here, the, the angle uh, switching system here, the chorus. And these are basically just the mutes on and off. This uh, runs in the send and return, the TC Electronics. It's basically the only thing in the chain on the back of send and return. And this pedal board here. Well again, Cody, I know that this isn't your rig that you're on yeah, from night to night. for me, you know what I mean? It's like a, I only ever usually run over here if there's a problem to hold a torch for the tech, so. Uh, <laughs> I, again, I, I appreciate you doing the time. You know that you're busy with three other rigs, so it's kind of hard for you yeah, to they, uh, tell us what's going on here. So I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, everyone, there you go. Another rig rundown, this time with Scott Gorm with Thin Lizzy. This is Chris Keys for PremierGuitar.com.